Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Metawar Assault Squad 2. It is the year 1944. The Soviets are attacking here against the German position in Kaptanovka. So, if you guys want to see more of this, and if you already enjoy defensive missions, this is a mission for you. Go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get this one up to a thousand likes, folks, because those farming sim people are kicking your butt. And if you want to see more, that is your best way to vote for what goes up next on the channel. Of course, whatever gets the most likes, obviously, is mostly liked by you. And I want to make much more of that. So show your support, folks. Go ahead and download this one in the description down below. This utilizes Rob's Realism, also the Grass Mod, the Assault Contact Mod, Rob's Skins, and also the Mission Pack as well. So check down below. The Soviets are getting beat back hard, too, by the way. SU-100s, T-3485s, and burning carcasses of uh, troop transports lie in the distance against our defensive positions here, which are being occupied by SS soldiers and also some friendly soldiers in and around the village. We've got ourselves Tiger Twos here and such, and we've got to defend for an entire hour, folks. So stay tuned for this mission going up in a multitude of parts because it's just too much to handle in one big playthrough. So, all right, so the Soviets are advancing. As you can see, new troops getting up here now T-3485s, SU-100s now arriving to the field, as well as a handful of infantry, and uh, we have a, a highly uh, defended position here, or at least a very nice defensive position. It's going to be hard for the enemy to knock us out here. Uh, Flak 88s have been destroyed and such, but we do have two mortars and two heavy field guns out here as well, which are going to rain pain down on the enemy. And check this out, folks. we got a huge convoy. Not only do we have the Tiger Twos, but we also have the Panthers as well, a few Panthers, three of them to be exact, plus a full uh, truckload of just uh, Waffle and SS troops everywhere. Uh, looks like we got supply trucks here and a few things, you know, sitting in the rear. I'm, I'm waiting for this infantry. I'm going to bring them up a little bit later. I do not want to put all the infantry in the village just yet because my fear would be that they would be decimated right away by enemy troops. We've also got our uh, Tiger II on hold fire here, so that way if it gets past our initial defensive guns, it'll be knocked down. No sense for a Tiger II to fire at a T-70. Light infantry and light tanks can deal with those. We've got uh, friendly troops moving into position. We've got a Flak 88 sitting right there. Speaking of uh, friendly guns, and uh, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, look at this. We've also got ourselves the big old Stuka Zufus, which is the walking Stuka, which will drop some big old bombs on the enemy. Oh, that's very good. So we'll go ahead and see all these in action very soon, as well as uh, also a very nice uh, Panzerwerfer right here, and also a few other vehicles arriving to the front. Oh, I accidentally told that crew to bail out when I meant to press R. Wow, it's the first time I've ever done that. Anyway, yeah, I'm trying to get all the infantry off the back of vehicles. We've, again, we've got SS troops pretty much everywhere. Whoa, I just heard a big explosion. Oh, wow, that, that, oh, that was over on the right side. Looks like a big T-3485 just went up in flame. Beautiful. We're just playing in slow motion right now just so I can get a little extra time to show off the battlefield before we really got to defend. This is a very tight space, and so obviously the enemy's probably got something planned for us. Oh, apparently there was, a, I guess, regular infantry inside that tank as well, not just tank crew. I only see t two tank crewmen in there. So, interesting. All right, I guess there were a few assault troopers in there as well. All right, let's get back into normal speed then, and we'll uh, speed things up here. So, uh, we'll split it up into multiple parts. So, stay tuned for the next ones coming up very soon on the channel, folks. So, a good reason for you to subscribe to check out more. All right, we've got more troops bailing off the Tigers as well. Tiger 2s have rolled up and uh, gotten into some good defensive positions. Pack 40s firing from the woods. And we've also got a uh, Panzer beautiful one right here. Oh, yes. The Tiger 2 Henschel is the one of it. Always makes me think of Hershey's. Always makes me... At least we're putting Hershey's in the enemy's pants, especially when they're facing off against that. T-3485 did not stand a chance. All right, we're going to keep some of our lighter tanks in here. Looks like maybe some infantry did make it past. Oh, I hate this, though. Uh, whoever made this mod did a real annoying job of making infantry uh, either put on hold fire at the start or on free movement. And both uh, are, you know, free movement. Oh, this is a fascist society, buddy. You can't be on free movement. Now, I don't want to put all of our infantry in here in the village because they could have katushas, they could easily rain bombs down on us, and there's a lot of already friendly infantry here. So there's not too much we have to do in terms of defending the village aside from just holding the positions. Basically, it'll come down to whoever runs out of ammunition first or whatever AT gun gets knocked out first. That is what it is. See, look at this. Friendly infantry going up here, walking out there like they own the place. Probably a friendly over there who died from before. Friendly soldiers pretty much scattered around the place. We'll just have to make sure our boys stay in the trenches. Wait a second. Whoa, what's going on over here? The enemies, I look on the mini-map, and they're, they're actually trying to flank us. They're trying to get to the supply trucks. Whoa, infantry getting cut down right away. We're lucky we had a... Oh, I parked... Oh, yeah, I was getting some of the supplies out of here. Oh, look. Oh, oh right. This actually was put to good use. I was trying to bring supplies up to the hill, so I pulled those trucks off the road. You can see here I was trying to resupply the guns. It didn't work. Oh, actually, look at that. The artillery guns almost turned and engaged. Oh, act oh I'm, I'm real bad at this. Oh, such a noob. All right, that's the second time I accidentally hit the eject key. Don't do that anymore. All right, it's now the, the R key. Make sure you press the right one there, Dino Man. All right, good. 
Okay, so we're just going to continue to set up our defenses here. Let's get some of these. Uh, as the Soviets may get very smart, try to come up behind us or flank us or, or uh, just to cut off our supplies or do something, we need to be very cautious of that. They have a great uh, number of men in order to do really devastating things to our flanks. They could, you know, come in from behind us. They could bring in an IS-2 from the flank. Who knows what could happen? So we better spread our men out and just be on the lookout for anything suspicious from the Soviets. Plenty of snipers, plenty of troops, plenty of tanks around, just not a lot of room in this narrow village. We're not going to have time to use everything. I'm going to keep some things in reserve, including the Panthers. I definitely don't want to bring the Panthers into the battle until a little bit later. They're really the best of the best. They're also um, very fast as well, so if we need to reverse or get out of there, they can pull out of there and survive. All right, T-3485s are going to continue to pound our position, so we just need to hold for as long as possible. Unfortunately... It seems like uh, some of the yeah some of our guns and stuff are already being destroyed, which you would imagine an AT gun would probably get three or four kills and then be knocked off. We do have 88s here. We do need to keep them supplied, so it might be a good idea to bring up some supplied trucks. We also have our own 88s here for us to set up some batteries with. So actually, I think I'd want to set up the tanks first and then set up batteries just in case. So let's just get our tanks off the road just in case. And actually, since the Soviets have been flanking us, I don't know where they could attack from next. But let's keep some of these uh, guns nearby just in case an infantry squad comes in. I'm starting to get concerned now about the hill, so I'm going to try to keep some troops up here. I don't know what they'll try, if anything, but actually, yeah, look at this. Our whole division, our whole squad is on hold fire. What a what a bad thing that would be if the enemy attacked and we were still on hold fire. Artillery is still coming down. I can still hear tanks and stuff getting chipped away at by artillery and or AT or AT guns in most cases. That's really what our uh, front consists of most. Looks like the Tiger II is getting hit. But we're not having her shoot. We want to hold fire for a bit. She's only got like 47 rounds. This is really to take on an IS-2 or something like that, really. And or a long distance... Uh, well, let me send you a, a KCK summer, as I call it, a long distance devastation. Take that, bitch. Oh, get wrecked. Nice. We knocked her damn shoe off. She ain't walking nowhere anymore without those tracks. All right. Oh, here comes another long distance uh, devastation from KCK some bitch. Here we go. Bow. Right there. Come on. Nice. And that's it. Look at that, right through the bottom, probably killed some of the crew members. Look at that. Real, oh, everyone but the commander, he was safe up in the up in the turret. Very cool. Alright, T-3485 pushing through on the right side. Let's get these Tiger Twos into shoot mode. See if we can uh, destroy one of these other T-3485s. Takes a while to turn that uh, turret. Uh, every time I see these tanks, too, by the way, where it says Henschel, I always think it says Hershey's. It just makes me hunger for chocolate. But at least we're putting uh, Hershey's into the enemy's drawers. That's a good thing. Oh, and that tank's already knocked out. Beautiful. She's on fire. Crew's dead. Beautiful. All right, we do have the Panzerwerfer sitting around. We'll put that to good use a little bit later. And uh, we're going to keep these heavier tanks on the line. It looks like our Panther's up here. I just want to keep it around just to uh, keep it on an elevated position to eliminate the enemy if, they, if and when they get close. Check that out. That's a very good position right there. We can fire down on the village from here. What's our gun depression like? Ooh, that's very depressing. Well, they won't be able to get close to the Panther at least. And let's keep these tanks under good defense because the enemy could come in at any time with a flank attack and we want to make sure the tanks are well defended all right well while we wait for the uh, reinforcements here it looks like it's about an hour until our offensive begins uh, the enemy is still going to attack us for that time probably trying to wear down our uh, defenses and you know try to maybe psychological warfare I don't know just they keep on coming word of mouth will spread amongst the German ranks that the Soviets seem to have just unlimited reserves so we'll just uh, continue to hold this line to make sure that those reserves dwindle into nothing all right, so we've got a few, uh, let's see, a few areas around here we can hide. Snipers are kind of in some good positions, apparently on hold fire. Let's go ahead and open that up. Some guys just running around. Wow, first first day in the battle. Just running around here. There we go. Let's get some of these guys to the front and uh, try to defend positions such as this. That mortar position there, which is a, what is that, a 34? Uh, yes, it is the 34 mortar. Right side, what's coming up? Half tracks, we're not really seeing much other than uh, T-3485s, SU-100s, which are getting devastated by the flanks. That 88 over here in the woods doing some great work right here. That's a nice position to have that gun. And uh, the crew's doing a good job there of loading and uh, eliminating everything that comes down that way. We can get some more 88s up here. I'm going to hold off on that. I want to maybe keep those in a defensive position back here towards the road, maybe devastate their movement if and when they break through our first defensive lines. If they start here... Oh, here they come again with another damn flank attack. I guess word got through that it may have possibly worked, so they attacked again. But, wow, okay. Well, I'm really lucky I left those... Uh, oh, some of these vehicles are actually getting damaged by their attack. Oh, my God. They're popping our tires, those sick bastards. Actually, they killed a number of our men here. 
Wow, even though we have two ve three vehicles fighting against them, and actually I, I left a handful of infantry here, looks like about six men ended up dying, but it looks like probably about 60 Soviets, so I guess a good exchange if, if there has to be any. Okay, let's go ahead and see now. We've got um, more troops and tanks at our disposal uh, and plenty of uh, time to put things down. So, well, maybe not so much time. Let's get uh, get going on what we got here, though. All right, I want to get some of these lighter vehicles out of the way since the Soviets keep attacking. I don't want to see any more of that infantry die. Infantry is going to be very valuable here. Oh, wow, another tank destroyed. T-70 out there in the distance. Um, and it looks like just a handful of infantry. We don't really have to do much to kill the infantry off. Eventually, they'll fall on the breakers of the German defensive line, and that'll be that. And uh, eventually, we'll just have to keep pumping more troops in. So let's just keep uh, keep making sure that we've got troops inside the trenches. Uh, be actually, better at this point for them to be in the trenches than to get caught by a bomber or um, some sort of artillery of some sort, whatever, whatever the Soviets might try. More infantry coming up on the right side. Looks like a lot of it. And uh, eventually, one of these tanks is going to explode if these guys aren't careful. And uh, they're just bringing up regular infantry, so they can fight against our front line. As soon as some of these guys are out of ammunition and or dead, uh, we want to keep that Pack 40 defended, for example. So we'll bring up some of our reinforcements up to that area. We may as well start bringing up some troops right now to make sure that uh, that doesn't fall that easy to the Soviets. So let's bring up some troops on the right side. We have some troops here as well that uh, defended the tanks. I want to make sure that Pack 40 is alive at all times, so I will recrew that if needed. Anti-tank is a little bit more important on the front, and the infantry is a little bit more important in the rear, since we may be getting flanked by the Soviets sometime soon. Looks like most of the infantry is off the road. Not all of them, but uh, I guess the, the bigger portion of our military is now in trenches or defensive positions, so that's good. I don't know why a lot of our guys would be on hold fire during an attack, but, uh, you know, whatever. Maybe that's why they lost. Somebody left all the German troops on hold fire. Don't know. All right, let's see here. Looks like another T-70 rolling up, and it looks like another uh, SU-100. We can go ahead and eliminate that immediately with our delete button. Let's get that working. All right, so our uh, big old hench our Hershey's chocolate is going to fire one, and I think that went right through. Oh, wow, I see. Oh, wow. There's like a... Uh, oh, yeah, she got hit like multiple times. One there, and then another one went right through it, below it, it looks like. Very nice. T-70's out of the game. Okay, good. A lot of our troops are starting to run out of ammunition on the front. I wonder if any of our uh, supply vehicles have a box in them. Some of them actually do carry small supply boxes, which is good. So let's go ahead and deliver some supply to the front, and then we'll have somebody walk it up there. So let's get one of those supply trucks up here, and then we can take that small supply uh, crate and bring it up to these troops here. They're definitely going to need it, otherwise they're going to be ran over. It looks like the Soviets are renewing yet another assault now. T-3485 seem to be the main uh, component of it. And let's go ahead and start putting this on open fire now. Hopefully he prioritizes tanks and not infantry. 46 minutes we have to defend, and we need to keep those supply trucks back as much as possible so we can supply bigger vehicles, such as the, uh, oh, well, those wonderful Panther, uh, you know, the Tiger Twos and the Panthers. Probably, the, that's probably what we want to have our main defense consisting of. We, if we lose those, that's pretty much it. That's going to be the end of our defense, really. Especially against T-3485s and SU-100s. Those are just, uh... No bueno, as we f as we would say in France. I mean, I mean uh, Japan. There you go. All right, so T-3485 moving up on the left side. Sarcasm detected. Over on the right side, it uh, looks like handfuls of infantry. A lot of infantry coming out. I want to use that Stuka Zafus, but let's actually back that up a little bit. Let them fall into our uh, defensive line a little bit more. Let's, let's bring that thing back just a little. And uh, wait for them to come right into, a, right into a perfect ambush for us. We'll see if we can get those uh, first... Oh, here we go. We can fire right here. Let's park it right on the road. There we go. So any troops that come around the road are going to be shot dead immediately by that uh, beautiful thing. Where's our supply truck? Supply truck, where are you? Wow, a lot of infantry. I, I claim that we had all the infantry off this uh, field, but I guess not. You know what? Let's put some of our guys up here just in case. Ooh, big explosion again. Another T-3485 getting wrecked. Beautiful. Any infantry that's around that is dead immediately. As soon as it explodes, it's gone. No more. All right, we do have a possible flank with tanks. Let's go ahead and set up a Flak 88 over here. I don't know if the enemy will attack again with tanks from that position. Well, let's go ahead and get our goofball. Grab that AT gun. There we go. Oh, we... Oh, I thought it was an engineering truck there. I was going to say, we have an engineering truck. Let's get some of these supply trucks off the road now. So now we're going to... Now we've got to fight more of a supply battle against the enemy. And uh, we just, they're throwing more tanks and troops at us than, than we will have it. Oh, there they go again. Damn. I can't believe it. Like clockwork. 
Wow, look at that. And all those guys dead. More of our infantry is down, probably. All right, well, we're just going to keep these auto cannons parked right here. I, I'm glad we put them over here. Oh, and this uh, vehicle can be a, a supply truck, too, for the Flak 88. Let's go ahead and park it over here. Let's get two of our guys on it. Just in case the Soviets now start coming from with tanks on that side, let's spread out our supply trucks and put them in safer positions. Our I don't know what's going on with our supply trucks. They just seem to derp out at the easiest uh, times. I don't know where that other supply truck is, but we'll have to find them. We need supplies at the front desperately. Half-tracks and such are just kind of sitting here with infantry. Let's go ahead and put some in defensive positions. Infantry is ready to go. Still much more infantry in the vehicles. And a little bit more than we actually have time for, so I don't want to, you know, put them all around. I don't have time to invest in, you know, getting each one of them a little front row seat to the battle. We'll just have to keep some of them in the back. Alright, uh, looks like the supply truck did not make it up to those troops as I'd hoped. And it looks like this one's backing it in. This is fine. This actually wouldn't be bad if they, if they attack from the rear. We can... I don't know. We can have everything covered. I don't really know where they're going to attack from next. Love this thing, though. One of my, the 2344 four is a great weapon. It's basically a pack 40 on wheels. Very smartly designed. And let's go ahead and... There we go. Put that on return fire. Alright, I don't know where the enemy is going to attack from, but let's continue to try to get infantry into some defensive position. I don't want to lose a whole squad because of that. Apparently our trucks just can't drive through this forest. Why can't you figure out... Like, right there, there's a spot. Couldn't figure it out, I guess. Okay. I just want to make sure none of our supply trucks explode. If that happens, that's uh, GG right there. So let's get some of our supply trucks into the back. Make sure they're defended by some of these trenches. Make sure that the Soviets don't attack too hard with those. A lot of infantry coming up now. I'm assuming a lot of infantry out of ammunition. Yep, they're getting closer on that right side because of the lack of ammo. Where the hell's that damn supply truck? Oh, there's one up here. I don't know how you got up here, but you're going to have to come down now. All right, let's get the ammo to the front. Now, we can't, unfortunately, we cannot... Oh, dear God. Okay. Oh, wait. Actually, we can use this. Now, this may have rolled, but it is a supply point now, which means the Panther is still in business. Damn. Can't believe that. So, the good news is we've got plenty more supply trucks, and this still is a functioning supply area. As you can see, there's a faint white circle around it. And the enemy now is less likely to shoot it since there's not an infantryman in it. And that gives this Panther a perfect defensive position. Pack 40s are still firing as well. Man, this is a really horrible pathing. There needs to be a way for that uh, those trucks to find their way through the village. Uh, let's see here. Got to get another supply truck. Looks like we have, um, I think, two or three supply trucks. I know there's one up here. Oh, and plenty of infantry guarding it. Oh, man. All right, let's see if we can just get our trucks over to the left side. We're going to have to get supplies up there. We don't have time to goof around with this anymore. All right, so we got bad supply problems now. We're getting low on supply, and we got a lot of hedgerows and such that are stopping our trucks from maneuvering. So let's make sure we solve that problem. Meanwhile, we do have a stationary fob over here. This is actually a good spot for infantry to come back to. Even though the trucks flipped, it's still fine. We can still bring infantry back here. And I guess that's just part of war sometimes. Wow, look at that. How did that uh, mortar get uh, hit? All right, well, we're going to grab that mortar. I don't want the enemy to uh, silence that. How did they must have... That must have been one hell of a shot. That was... I don't know. Blind fire with an AP round? I don't know. All right, our infantry is ready, though. Our infantry is all in, in good positions here. All right, we've still got about 40 minutes left in our battle. Flak 88s are firing off nicely. AA half tracks are here, good. All right, looks like some of our supply trucks have made it up to the line. I don't know why they stop like that. They kind of just go goofy. There's so many trees and stuff around, they can't find their way. All right, let's just get to this section of the road now. We'll bring the trucks up one by one, and I want to keep them supplied as well. Yeah, see, when I double click, it won't move forward. It's interesting. Ah, it's such a, such a cluster here. I hope the enemy doesn't attack again from that right flank. I'm focused on this now. Yeah, see, look at that. The truck won't have double clicked and no could do, but yet rolled ahead fine when I was in first or when I was in direct command. So interesting. We'll see what happens. So the wrecked truck on the right side, we'll use that as a resupply point. Where did that other truck go? 
Is he still up there on the mountain? Hopefully he's coming down. Coming down the mountain when he does. Or... I don't know. We'll find him soon. There goes the enemy attack again on that flank. Yeah, they're just, they're just not making it through there, are they? They've got to face off against multiple armed vehicles. Let's get that tank over there and let's face that direction too. Alright, let's get our troops supplied then. We're coming up to the front. Too bad we couldn't buy the grab the small supply box out of that uh, one truck. Would have been perfect over there, but at least we got ourselves a fob. German secret, if you rolled the truck, it becomes the fob. So there you go. Plenty of uh, good de defensive positions on the hill as well. And a lot of great sneaky areas for us to lay down fire on the enemy. And uh, having this truck down here too means we could possibly back up with one of our tanks and just park next to the truck at the supply. Once the supply is out of a truck, it's basically worthless anyway. Sometimes it's better to just detonate them too because then you don't get the enemy to explode it on your position. Again, truck won't advance. Well, idiot, you shouldn't have jumped out in front of the truck. GTA, hit and run, y'all. That guy ran out in front of the troop. Uh, and, and, oh, he had an STG-44. Oh, my God. Oh, well. All right, let's see, folks. Let's get that supply truck here, and that should be good. Where is that vehicle? There it is. All right. So supplies have arrived, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for your support, hitting that like button, enjoying and laughing with me, my mistakes and my successes. It's good to have you all here, and I appreciate it. So thanks for watching, and as always, and I will see you all next time. Come get your hot, fresh supplies, boys. All right. Bye-bye.